Hello guys, in this build it is a custom closet. The design changed a little bit so those cabinets are going to be on the first shelf. But I'm just going to show you guys how I did it. So first I started off guys by cutting the top and the bottom and the two sides. Alright guys, so I just did everything just for reference sake. Um I had used that metal condom, cut that up, and I'm just setting everything up to see how it's gonna look. So this is just a little post that's gonna absorb the weight coming from the top shelves and transfer into this. Usually in a house application, you would use a uh, two by six or two by eight as a header, but this is just furniture. So we're gonna just settle with a two by three. It's not gonna be nothing too heavy. And that's gonna be the support right there. Then the shelf is gonna go on top of that. But this is just a rundown. Always lay things out, especially when you're dealing with three quarter inch plywood because a lot of them are off by a, not an eighth, but a little less than an eighth, which would be like 0 0.0625. And that adds up over time, especially if you're a finished carpenter and you want everything to be exact. So it's nice to lay things out instead of relying completely on a diagram. But who cares about what I'm saying? I had to add that in there. That's my friend back from carpentry school. He was always dancing. But anyways, guys, I laid out the two sides side by side. That way we can get exact measurements. So everything I do, I'm just going to transfer over to the next side. So, guys, to stop the wood from sliding, I use Lori seasoning saw. I, Regular salt ain't enough. It need to be seasoned salt. Laurie, you gotta pay me. But you don't ever gotta worry about me hitting you. So what made you, what made you be scared of me all of a sudden? And that scared you. Oh, guys, I just went ahead and put pocket holes in the bottom. Bottom on here, here. The pole is gonna go ahead and slip right inside those grooves that I made. That's gonna be strong enough to hold the pole. But yeah, pocket hole punches everywhere, and I'm gonna put them on all the shelves. I done put these supports going across just so I can just sit the shelf on top of these for the shoes. Do 
do y'all have any idea how heavy that thing was? This is why I'm naturally fit. Salt and pepper. All right, guys. So this is just a quick glimpse right here how it looks. I added those support beams, um, just so the shelf doesn't start to sag over time. It's gonna stay nice and straight. Um, and then that this weight from the top is all gonna be dispersed to this shelf right here. This bottom shelf. This shelf is supported by two by threes going around it to absorb some of that weight. And then it's gonna all be dispersed into this post all the way in to the ground post, all the way into the floor. So this is built nice, guys, because the, we're gonna put some accordion doors here. The accordion doors are four inch wide. So I had to build this out, because if I didn't, if I put the accordion doors right here, when you close it, it would hit the hanger or the close. So I had to build this out, then I'm gonna put the accordion doors right here. So when it closes, since it's four inches, two inches will be on this side, two inches will be on this side. So this is gonna bring that to like right here right there so we're gonna have enough space for the clothes to close properly but yeah guys here goes the pole i'm about to um put the face frame on i'm then i'm going to build the doors and then the crown molding for the top then i'm gonna get this painted pay attention to this part real quick because um a lot of people are skeptical or nervous a little bit when it comes to building because they don't know um how to get the measurements for the doors and they be like oh my god the measurements for the door got me the measurements for the door got me got me got me so all you gotta do guys and remember the reason, real quick, the reason why we got these right here, so the door is gonna meet right here, and you always want a little bit of reveal because it's easier than worrying about the cabinets completely closing. And that's just more trickier, and wood, wood warps over time, so then eventually the cabinets are gonna start rubbing, the doors are gonna start rubbing. But another other way, any, any, any who, I was about to say something else, but anybody, anyway, so what we gonna do guys, is you want a little bit of reveal for the doors. So you're gonna measure, so let's just say halfway, like halfway here, halfway here. So we get 16, 16 and three quarters. So go ahead and put the hinge up right here, about a good spot, about a good spot. And then you measure from this cabinet over to how far you want it. And that's probably gonna be, we're gonna say 14, 14, we're gonna say 15 inches. Yeah, 16 and three quarters by 15 inches. That's gonna be the measurement for our door. So guys, now I'm just gonna be painting the inside. And one more thing, when you guys, whenever you build stuff, when you deal with plywood, any wood, but especially plywood. What you wanna do is on the back, like right here, you wanna go against that grain and you wanna seal it. So this paint 
what it's gonna do is stop the, the wood from absorbing moisture. Um, so you just wanna go over it like that. And that's gonna, that's gonna slow down the, the warping process because all wood warps, but you just wanna minimize it. So you don't want no moisture. You don't want no moisture to get up in there, but I'm gonna drop this off to the client around nine o'clock. So I'm just gonna get this thing painted real pretty. But like, this is how we do it. So we pre-build it, then we take it apart. Come show, come show them right here real quick. So I already took the pocket hole screws out right there. Can't really right? see it. You can't see, but now look. See, okay. it's built perfectly. You just get assembled. Show them down here. Can I see the pocket screws? Yeah, right there. Yeah, I just want to wish y'all a happy day. I want to tell y'all, read y'all Bible. We're just here to help. Like, that's all we're here to do is help. If y'all ever think that we coming around to do anything other than help, you were mistaken. We were the most underlooked in the carpentry class. Now look at this, we the only ones still doing this. You know, I'm about to start a GoFundMe because I need y'all. Let me get, I need some, I need something. So now, guys, we're just installing these accordion doors. Very easy, efficient. There we go. Well, guys, here we go. It's all done. Nice, simple. Simple little closet. Shoes gonna go at the bottom. That's a bottom shelf. Custom made, handmade, beautiful closet mounted to the house. Um, she wanted cabinets right here for her pocketbooks. And then she wanted to put her stuff up here and then her husband's hats up here. And then the shoes are gonna be on the bottom. And I made sure to make the, I had to actually edit, edit these um, doors. I had to put my own holes in them and put the handles where I want them. And we're gonna slide that perfect space for clothes. And I actually used a metal conduit for the pole. That way that this is really strong. You never have to worry about it bending. So this is definitely quality that she paid for. But yeah, guys, I'm all done now.
I will never let y'all down. If any of y'all watching my YouTube videos, y'all want to see a mistake, y'all want to see something go crazy, you're watching the wrong channel because you won't see nothing but success on this page. And I want to tell y'all, y'all have a great day. Y'all be blessed. Y'all take care of y'all family. Y'all praise God and brush y'all teeth when y'all wake up.